This is New Hampshire CrossCountry.com, powered by Runners Alley, coming at you from the Division One State Championships. This year's Meat Hub, brought to you by CM Truck and Trailer Sales out of Chichester, New Hampshire. Mike, Division One girls, Division what do we got? Girls, well, BG, uh, in theory, the top team in here. Oh, they're already up. Boy, they're already up. They're two minutes early. Here we go. So we got BG, Keen, Exeter, Bedford, Londonderry, all battling it out. Conquered. And conquered. Clearly, Caroline Fisher, Caroline Toll, probably the two favorites. Morgan Arcott of Concord. Kaylee Coffin, who could forget her? Right. Michaela yeah. Randall, Amila Opsal of uh, Keene, Kylie Rinko of Bedford, Grace McDonough of Londonderry, Winnicott of McKenna Whalen. So this is going to be a battle. BG's already out in front. Along with Michaela Randall, right up with a teammate as well. Yeah, for herself, but that's not Kelly Coffin. Kelly Coffin's running into the second slot right now. Let's see what we have. We've had one, two, three sweeps earlier today. We did. Leader is Fisher way out in front here. Teammate Toll right behind her. Teams to watch. BG's the favorite. Concord girls, Exeter girls. Bedford girls, Keene girls. Pretty wide open race. Get some, uh, Concord and Leonard are wearing white uniforms for the first time here. They got some a lot of new uniforms out here today. So, like we've seen, this is a pretty common theme. We got a big pack out front. We should see them start to spread out in a little while. And we have our leader in view now. Looks like it's Caroline Fisher, I would think. Yeah, Caroline Fisher followed. followed. By Caroline Toll. You got it. Nancy Looks like Michaela science. Randall and her teammate Opsal right in pursuit. After that, I really can't tell yet. I see another BG back there. Still here. Caroline Fisher wasting no time to take it out. We're not even a thousand meters in and she already has, what would you say that is, 25 meters on her teammate? Maybe yeah, even she's, more. she's got a pretty good gap there, totally opposite of the last race we saw. Absolutely. You're right, you're right. And then she's got about another 25 meters on the rest of the field. I'm um, seeing Callie Coffin up in that as well. One of the Salem girls is Morgan Orcott of Concord. There's Michaela Randall, the, uh, Central, Pepin going through. Honker girls just went one, two, three, four, five, six through already. That looked, should bode pretty well for them. Yeah, BG had a BG good, had four, good group. They had three or four right up five there. Five just went through. There's their six, and then there's their seven. So it'll be, you know, it could be an awful lot like the Sauhegan Co Brown battle where. Uh, so, so Hegan had three up front solid, and then yep. you had a whole bunch of Cole Brown girls coming through. Overall, pretty good separation, 1,000 meters in. Absolutely, not like that last boys race. Yeah, total opposite. We're going to go ahead, see what's going on down at the one mile mark. Okay, Carolyn Fisher's in the lead. She's got a good lead. Yeah, pretty big lead for the first mile. Cranking. Caroline Toll right behind her. We can see another one, two, three today. Good job, Caroline. So she's coming through the mile like 543. And then Caroline Toll only about 10 seconds behind her. For a group of uh, Callie Coffin. Looks like Morgan, Morgan Orcutt. Orcutt. Salem, see if they come on today. No, we'll have to start thinking his Gurton's third girl. Carly right now, Rinko. Gurton's clearly the lead. It's Conquer, it's got three, four, five. Conquer's winning this race right yeah, now. Yeah, big pack right there. It's Bishop Girton's fourth. But their, their four and five needs to tighten up yeah, to those they need first to tighten three. Up. Conquer's got six right there. Yep, there's Bishop Girton's five and six. Um, so they really need to tighten up to those first three. They got the low numbers, but Concord had a big pack of like right. four or five girls running together. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Might be a shocker, but a lot can change. 
as yeah. we've seen in the other races. Yeah, this first mile you kind of just cruise. Not really any any difficult spots. No. So. As long as you stay in contact, you'll be fine. Yeah. Hey, you can do a lot of damage on the second mile, and even the third mile once you go over the hill. Right. You get all that downhill. I'd rather be catching than being caught. Definitely. You'd be the hunter than the hunted. As long as you're, as long as you're within contact and have a, a decent position. Right. You don't want to be uh, on your back foot the whole time. No, no, you don't. There you go, girls. Attack the, hill. the race starts up in the woods. It really does. Definitely. Yeah, most of this first mile just autopilot. Like get out well and then just think chill about into Gerd the hill. Hill, so they were stretched out and Conkin was all packed running. So and they've been feeding off one another, so this this could be a surprise. We'll see what happens. Alright, here's your uh, race leaders, Caroline Fish. She's got a pretty big lead over her teammate, Caroline mm -hmm. Tall. Go on one BG. <laughs> BG needs them to go one two. Absolutely. Got some tough competition today. Every point counts. Come on, Caroline! Nice job, Caroline! Looks like, Caroline. looks like Callie Coffin in third. Nice job, Yep, I believe so. Awesome, Caroline! Awesome! A lot of white jerseys are messing with me this year. <laughs> Yeah, they're changing up the colors on us. Here's Renko, BG. Nice landing, Caroline. Cross of uh, PA. Orcott of Concord. Michaela Randall Akeen. Exer's number one. Alan McFarland. Here's Concord two. Back for two. Concord three. Concord four and Concord five. So Concord's in the lead right now. Good pack going through. Great pack. This is Gert in three. This is Gert in three. That's Fiona Doherty. Concord six. Wow. So, so Concord's way out in front right now. Here's BG4. BG4 right with Keen four. And Bedford's got two up there. There's Exeter, Exeter's four and five right there. Bedford's a good one to recognize with the big bulldog. Yes. <laughs> Except they switched their jerseys yeah. up. That's a new uniform. Oh, no. <laughs> Bishop Gurdon 5. BG 5 right there, yep. They got some work to do, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is Caroline Bishop Gurdon with the commanding lead over the state meet. Good job, Caroline. Caroline, No one in sight for a long time. That's Caroline Toll coming in number two. So the experience on this course is definitely a factor here today. Lots of New Hampshire teams very familiar with Dairyfield Park. And this is Callie Coffin, Nashua South. So versus the two races we've seen so far, this individual race is... Locked up. One, two, three. And here comes Exeter's first runner. Along with Pickerton Academy, Bedford. And that's Caroline Orcutt of Concord coming in for the first Concord runner. Concord number two as well. So as far as the team perspective right now, it's... Pretty much anybody's race. Uh, advantage for Bishop Gurdon as we see their third runner coming through. Yes, Caitlin! But uh, on the individual, individual side, pretty squared away. We've seen some Bedford. This is Nashua North's first runner. And BG number four. So their team. And uh, shout out to Concord as well. They're would be the favorites, I would assume, for a team victory here today. Here comes Exeter second, Central's first runner. Nashua South putting in a couple more runners here in the two mile. Here comes BG's fifth, so that'll close out the scoring runners for Bishop Girton.
More depth for VG coming through. Concord as well. Bedford. Uh, as well as Nashua South. So those are your, those are your teams at a glance here at the two mile. But a lot can change on this downhill. Hey, Marie! Alright, hey, two's in the books. Only one left, right? So just again coming in, Concord ranked number two. Bishop Gurdon also up there in the New Hampshire rankings. Uh, listed as number two. So it looks like Concord and Bishop Gurdon pretty close, pretty closely tied in the rankings. Keen at number four, Exeter number five, Bedford number nine, Londonderry coming in at number ten. Uh, Here, ladies! Hey, two's in the books, all right? Two's in the books. One left. All right, that'll just about do it for the two-mile snapshot. We'll see you for the three-mile and the finish. All right, so Fisher, a BG in the lead here. See what the gap is. Yeah, pretty big. Sure. Right gap over. around 14.50. Right looks, now it's at least 60. Looks pretty strong. Yeah. Probably save it for next week if she I wants would, to. Yeah. Certainly would. Doesn't even look like she's pushing that hard. Should be her teammate coming up next. It was a lot closer at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she only had about 30 meters, what, at the top of the hill? Yep. So, should be close. <laughs> Although she faded, wow. the rest of that pack might Here have caught go. her. Here comes Toll. There's that's Caroline Toll. Wow, that's, that's a big lead. Yeah, that's a big lead. Toll's a good runner, too. Yeah. So that's Gurton's second. So BG's going one, too. All right, gap. Callie Coffin in third, it looks like. Callie Coffin in third. Come on, Callie! I'll have to look for the top end of that Concord pack. Ah, we'll see if or Orcutt's still here. Orcutt should be in this somewhere around here, I would think. McFarland, Orcutt, and Randall were all kind of close. Yeah. That has stretched out. Yeah, that's. I, mean, I think I think she took it out hard. Yeah. Oh, it's McFarland. All right. And Pinkerton. McFarland, and then cross the Pinkerton. And the Raylan of Winnicott. Come on, boy. Here comes Orcutt. Carly uh, Rinko. And Rinko. So Bedford, Bedford had a good team pack too though. Sam, here, here we go. go for our second Concord. Third right. Concord. On, so there's one, two for BG, but then three Concord in a row. Here we go. Exeter second. Is that Keen second? Uh, that's Keen's first. That's Randall. Man, I know, but did, did one no, sneak This is Keen's second. There's another Concord. There's Concord four and BG's three. So that could that could be a big race between those two. Bedford's three. That's Bedford's three. Yep. Gurton's four. Oh, Gurton's four. They need to get that five in. And there's Concord's five and six. Five and six. I would say. Here we go, Katie. Here we go. Come on, Good job, Mom. Push it up. Push it up. I don't know. We'll have to look at those first points. Oh, those three points. Yeah. Yeah. I think BG's five is going to have to close pretty well. She can pick up a lot of points. And BG's five's going by us on the other side here, so that's gonna be it's gonna be real that's close. Gonna be really, really close. All right, so we're just spinning around. We have Caroline Fisher yes, of Bishop Gurdon in first. All right, ben, let's go. Coming down right before the hairpin, before the final turn. She's at about 17:25 right there. Like we were saying earlier, too. You know, BG susceptible if they if, if if their top five's not their top five. Yeah. It looks like it is, but it just looks like Concord just might be having a race. Yep. I just I don't know if they can overcome those three points. On, no, three points are good. So there is Caroline Toll, which is Bishop Gurton's two. Okay, coming into view. Caroline Fisher of Bishop Gurton, defending champion from last year. And defending well, she's going to be our 2019 Division I Girls State Champion. Going and, away easily. Yeah, she's Hugely. all alone. We, we can't even see the second girl, which I believe is going to be her teammate. Awesome job by Carolyn Fisher. 
2019 state champion, Division One. Yeah, that's an impressive lead right there. We got no one in sight. No one. That's incredible. That's might be one of the biggest leads of all time. Here we go, Caroline Toll. Let's go, see Toll. So again, she's got a huge lead. BG coming out hard, one two. Caroline Fisher's time was 18, 16.47. So Caroline Toll taking second place. Great job. We have third place in view now. Division two runner up, 18.52. Kelly Kelly Coffin of Nashua South take third place honors. Again, this is D1. Pretty impressive run from these ladies. Especially when you have to run alone like this, because we've seen just gaps. Fourth coming into view now. That's Pinkerton's first. Exeter's first in view. Winnicunnet's first in view. Now we're going to see what the team battle shapes up to be. The Pinkerton, Exeter, Winnicunnet making a lot. We're getting a hard move towards the finish. Yeah, that was cross for Pinkerton, McFarland. Whalen of Winnicunit. Wrinkle of Bedford. Salem with their first. Here comes Conkers, two. Three. Was... Conkers got three in now. Conkers could be well on their way to a state championship if they get some more in here. Yeah, Concord BG were the teams to watch coming into this race. Keene's top two. Shepard of Keene. Randall of Keene. Exeter's number two. Conkins fourth. Conkins might steal the show here. Here's Girton's third. Conkins fifth coming into view. This is going to be a lot. Keen's third's coming into view. Girton's fourth is coming. Yes. Conkins fifth. So Conkins got five coming in. This is closer than you think. This is going to be a toss up right now. Here comes Girton's fifth. She's a little far back. Those numbers are going to add up quick. This is going to be a barn burner. Exeter's starting to pile them in now, too. Yeah, Exeter's had a good grouping up there. BG's fifth. You can't afford to lose those points right there. Yeah, you want to see that extra little effort to get that one spot. But still, we're talking about number 35. Boy, well, yeah, 2105. So it's going to be a toss up between Concord and Gurdon. Exeter's right in the mix, too. Behind you, Jill. Behind you, Jill. Yeah, Exeter definitely had a lot of good points there. Keen had some up there. Yeah. Bedford did pretty well for themselves. Come on, Maddie! All the way through! Ding, ding, ding! Seen a good number of Salem as well. to one two two score but I don't know it's close it's closer than you think so they're still piling in it's only 22 minutes Marta T. Smith to Dover Again, what is it, eight top teams from Division One? Uh, D1, I believe it's top seven top teams. Seven. And then 30 individuals. 30, 30 individuals. Yeah, so I mean, the 30 individuals, we're at number 5960 now. Yeah. So that's done, but top, teams. top seven teams, that's still, still a factor. Still being decided, I think. So all of these spots for these girls matter, trying to make sure their team season is not done today. Overall, absolutely impressive race from Caroline Fisher. Oh my God, it's a great race. She's had she's had a pretty good season coming back, and it's it's a good way to I don't want to say cap it because I think she's still got a little bit more. I think she might be the favorite to win New England. I really believe that. Yeah, she she looked good and again did it all alone. I mean, she had a, a lead at the thousand mark. Oh really? Oh. So it's it's when she you huge lead at the mile. Yeah, yeah. It just. You know, she knew she was going to win, so she just took it right out. And sometimes it's relaxing to just get out there, get the win, and then you got a little time to play with. 
Yeah, get a little separation, really feel yep. yourself out on that day right. and be able to capitalize. Yes, Christina! Exciting race. It'll be interesting to see who wins that one on the team side. Yeah, pretty close, and hey, that's that's how the Very rankings close. had it. Yes. Rankings had them tied at second, so we'll see how the, the numbers do shake out as uh, numbers here are starting to thin a little bit. Once again, this is NewHampshireCrossCountry.com, powered by Runner's Alley. Meet Hub brought to you by CM Truck and Trailer Sales over in Chichester, New Hampshire. This has been your 2019 Girls Division I State Championship race. We'll see you for the boys.